Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing Tactical Chariot Racing Game Quadriga. In it, you lead a team of racers to victory in the ancient Roman world. has a campaign mode, and I'll continue one of the campaigns that I'm working on right now. In the campaign mode, you can purchase upgrades over time as you race in different cities. So you can see there is a map of Europe uh, with different regions that you can race in. And then, uh, you know, it goes from relatively easy events to win up to more difficult events as you uh, progress through the game. So we'll go back to our city here. In each city, you manage your team. Uh, as you race, your people and your chariots and your horses will receive damage over time. And then you can also spend your earnings on upgrades. You can see that there's these little symbols here, which actually give bonuses to your... Uh, either your racers, your chariot, or your horses, depending on how many little icons you see there. So I actually afforded a pretty good uh, chariot right there. And I have a decent uh, kind of rider there, and then, you know, pretty standard horses also, just with a little bit of a speed acceleration. So I'm going to kind of roll with these guys for now. Uh, as you travel through different cities and work your way up the ladder, you'll get more money that you can spend on. Uh, purchasing better equipment. So uh, we'll do a race and we'll choose the guy that's ready to go. Before each race happens, there is a random event. So the random event in this race is the turns are more difficult uh, because of dusk. So what you do, there's two uh, kind of ways that the game can progress. There's a completely turn-based mode where you, every 10 seconds you can issue an order to your rider. And there's a more dynamic mode, which still has you periodically issuing orders, but does it uh, kind of in a real-time manner, which I'll demonstrate second. So when you start out, the only two orders you can have are either whipping the horses or accelerating. So I'm going to whip the horses to start out. I actually have the inside lane here. You can see with the interface, it shows the health of the different animals. Uh, the danger with whipping the horses is that you can cause them to get injured, which will obviously impact their performance a little bit. I'm going to whip them twice and then accelerate. I'm actually doing pretty good right now. And then we'll see what the other options are as we get off the straightaway. Uh, each race is three laps. You know, that guy has a little bit better horses than I do. Uh, and obviously you want to be first place. All right, so zoom out here a little bit. I'm still good. I think I'm going to uh, try to damage this guy. Uh, your orders basically are moving either left or right, a number of lanes. You can lacerate the other driver or horses. You can crash against their chariot. You can uh, control during turns so you don't topple over. You can try to avoid uh, aggressions by the other player. Or you could speed up and slow down and whip the horses. So those are your options uh, to go with. And I'm going to try to lacerate this guy. So we'll see how that works out. There we go. And he actually <laughs> lacerated me. So I got him and his little horse. Uh, and then I'm going to actually whip these horses again. Try to pick up some speed. The AI is actually pretty good. Uh, they provide a good amount of challenge in the game. And here we go through the corner. Uh, the green outline shows that I am uh, good for the current speed I have, so I'm actually going to move a lane inward. Uh, you have to be careful as you go through the turns. If you take the turns too fast, you'll topple over. These guys are passing me on the inside. Of course, the advantage is when you're on the inside, it's a way shorter path uh, around each corner. And those guys, he crashed and was eliminating his horse there. And he's dead. So got some dead horses, which obviously uh, handicap you a little bit. I'm going to move a lane in. Haha. -ha. Another strategy is to block other people, uh, which is what I did this just there. Basically made him waste his whip. This guy's a little stunned. So I'm going to try to whip my horses, and then he moves up, which blocks me, and then blocks a the guy behind me, and blocks a guy behind him. He's got a little traffic jam going. All right, I'm actually going to move I'm gonna move a lane in. Try to shorten my path a little bit. These guys are getting some damage. All right, whip these horses. Yeah, yeah. 
So that's one lap done. Now I need to get out away from this guy. Alright, I'm gonna move a couple lanes in. We'll see what that does for my speed in the next one. This guy's coming up real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm still going a little bit fast. I'm going to try to lacerate him, actually. Up, oh, he moved. Jerk. Alright, we'll see what this turn has in store. Hopefully I won't kill myself. Alright, control, please. You see, if you take turns too quickly, you may go to an outside lane. Alright, we're alright. We made it through that turn. Okay, go, go. actually pretty good right now. Uh, let's try to take this guy out. Crash. Boom. Ah, oh, I took out my horse. Well, that stinks. <laughs> Being down a horse is not good, obviously. Alright, well I'm going to move a lane in. Since I only have three horses now, I shouldn't be going as fast. You want to watch out for fallen uh, chariots and horses and stuff. I mean, keep an eye on these people. This guy's coming up real fast. Oh, that guy crashed his chariot. Alright, let's go over here. This is a pretty violent race here. A lot of people crashing. Just see who survives at the end. Uh, the races, once you get a couple under your belt, actually become pretty repetitive. Uh, you know, it's the same general orders. Most of the time, you're either, and this is okay, uh, you know, whipping your horses or attacking nearby people. I hope that chariot isn't in my way. I don't think it is. I'm in second. Figure that out. Alright, let me go in. In one. That's what the little flag displays there show. What place you're in. Alright, go. Yeah. Is this lap three? I wish it is. Gosh, so slow. Oh, there goes that guy. Should have seen him coming up. I would have gone up to his lane. Would have been able to stop him. Alright. Ah, oh, jerk! Oh, what a jerk! I hate you, Crotus. Crotus, you ninny. Ugh. Third place. Now oh, I got something, though. A couple people died, one person got injured. That was me. Oh, no, that was the winner. Alright, third place. Got some money out of it, at least. Uh, your kind of goal is to get fame. Uh, once you get enough fame, it unlocks new regions. So we'll just go back and manage. Oh, I got a good rider. Too bad he's $8,000. Alright, those horses are in bad shape, so I'm going to move everybody up. Uh, I can actually afford... Yeah, that's the same horses that I have now. One speed, yay. That's the guy I really would need to have, but it, you need a whole bunch of money for that. So, there you go. And, you know, as you progress through, you just buy more expensive stuff. So, what I'm going to do is go back to the main menu here and do a dynamic race so you can see what that looks like. So, I'll do a single race here. Uh, there's a couple factions. You pick one of these when you start a new campaign uh, that give you little starting stats. Uh, so what do I want to do? I should probably want to do these guys. They have pretty good bonuses. And then for the single race, you can pick up to three other upgrades. Uh, so I want to accelerate and speed. I'm going to be a fast guy this turn. And then we want dynamic turns, and then you can pick which uh, little area you want. So I'll just pick a different one here. Which arena? All right. We're way on the outside, which is not 
terribly desirable. See here the little countdown timer. Basically you have time to pick one of the available orders before the timer runs out. A little bit faster pace uh, than before. Alright, so we're in second. I'll just have them accelerate here. Let's see how far we are from the... I guess I'm going too fast for this turn here. I might just kill myself right out the, uh, right out the gate. Yeah, there we go. I'm dead. Alright, awesome. Yeah, I'll get run over here. I'm trying to escape. Going too fast. Excuse me. Alright. Well, let's try that again, shall we? I like the strategy. Just went too fast. So let's kind of do the same thing, but not do all that speed. We need a little bit more stability. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, let's just do maximum speed there. Okay. Try it again. Whip it. Whip it good. Go. Go. Oh, I forgot to do dynamic turns in there. Well, let's just redo that. Silly me. It default. It doesn't save your settings from last time, obviously. Or else it would have done it. Alright, let's try it again. Uh, yeah. Dynamic turns. And speed, speed. Alright, let's choose a different one here. Uh, sure, let's do that one. Alright, that's more like it. Okay. Oh, you stink. Go, Jared. Must go faster. Alright, we're gonna go out to. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll just do that. We'll control the reins here. So we go around the corner. The little color shows you how likely it is for you to wreck. Uh, so it's a little handy guide of, you know, what you might end up doing here. All right, let's let's lacerate those horses. Get them. There you go. Ooh, can't do that. No, stop it. I'm in a big crowd now. Alright, go. Get away from these people. Oh no, I'm going fast. I get you. There you go. Let's go in one. Oh, he's moving up there, isn't he? Oh, let's block this guy. Ah, tricky. Yeah, not so much. I think we're on lap three here in a bit. Go. Go. Third. If I can hold third, I'll be happy with that. I block you. Boink.
Yeah. I don't really want to do that. Yeah, it's gonna pass me. Go, horses go. If you pass them on the outside, you can hold it. Block them, block them, block them, block them, block them. Bam! That was a good, good time block there. Third place. A theme for the evening. Very good. All right. Uh, that is Quadriga. Um, it's an interesting little game. Uh, the, you know, the, the races kind of get repetitive after a while just because you're basically using the same orders over and over again, you know, positioning yourself. Uh, you know, there isn't direct interaction. You don't have to worry about actually driving the horses. So you're really only putting input in the game every 10 seconds, which you know, can lead to, you know, it's a, it's a game that you don't, you're not really going to sit down for hours at a time and play. Uh, this campaign mode is a little bit interesting where you purchase upgrades over time. Uh, and it helps to extend the replay value a little bit. Uh, but you're still at the mercy of the relatively simplistic uh, command system uh, that kind of limits the amount of interaction you're going to have with the game. So, I mean, there's nothing necessarily wrong with the game. I just think it doesn't really have the longevity uh, that's required uh, to keep your attention more than a couple hours on it. So there you go. That's all I have for today. Until next time. Bye now.